Hey everybody, this is July 7th, 2015, and this is my Wisconsin Garden Update. What you're looking at here is my mulberry tree, or you can call it a mulberry bush, but it's more of a tree since it's about 30 feet high, and I'm about to do a little harvest here before the squirrels and birds get them. But anyway, I got some good news this past week. Uh, I broke a uh, milestone for one of my videos that hit 1 million views for a single video, and... It just so happens, this, also this past week, um, the Weather Channel contacted me through email and they'd like to use my video in their upcoming second season of Do You Think You'd Survive? I've never seen the show before, but they contacted me and they want to use my video called um, How to Catch a Fish Without a Fishing Pole. And uh, I had to sign a bunch of papers and release forms and uh, they said it's going to take about two weeks, but it should air in uh, between August and um, December so I'll keep you updated on that anyway let's go up to the garden well I also have some good news up in the garden here you see my sunflower plants and the deer haven't touched them and that's because two weeks ago I applied that Bobex deer repellent and soaked all this string in it and sprayed all my plants with it and that stuff works 100% they haven't touched anything and even my beans were allowed to sprout this time without the deer touching them. And there are deer tracks throughout the garden, so they've been through here. They're just not touching the, the plants. And here's my uh, Rutgers tomatoes. None of those are touched. And I'm actually getting um, flowers on one over here. And uh, let me show you what else is coming up. Here are my green beans that I planted two weeks ago and put that soaked string across the ground, just a few inches above the ground, and that was soaked with the Bobex, and yep, I have a full row of beans right here, and another full row right here, and that's like the deer's most favorite thing. So this stuff really, really does work. I'm completely happy with it. And I keep, uh, keep using it all summer here. Anyway, over here, my pumpkins are growing. No deer bites out of those either. Another hill over there. And then down here, my watermelons are growing. They're not touched by the deer at all. But, uh, yeah, they're not growing too fast. So I'm going to put some 10-10-10 fertilizer on those. And here's another hill of them here. Okay, if you remember, I took some extra string that was soaked in Bobex and just put it in this watermelon hill where... The uh, deer had already eaten all the watermelons a few weeks ago. Put some bean seeds all around it and the deer haven't touched it. Even though no plants were sprayed, they just don't like the scent of that string that was soaked in the Bobex. And over here too, I have a single acorn squash and uh, they haven't touched that. But man, the grass is really coming in here. I gotta, I guess, mow the garden <laughs> or have a lot of hoeing to do. Oh, what's this? Something's been eating snails here. Huh, that's weird. Huh? Oh, great, it's a troll. Hey, troll! Were you eating snails in my garden? Oh, yeah? All right, let's see how you like this Bobex, troll. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Run home to mommy, big baby. Well, I'm glad I got rid of him, because now it's time to put more Bobex on the plants. Because there's lots of new growth that doesn't have any Bobex on it, and i got to cover that. And also all these beans that popped up. So I'll put some more Bobex on, and then do some weeding, and then put some 10-10-10 fertilizer on some of these plants. And let me show you what else I'm doing. All right, one thing I wanted to show you is over next to my garden over here, next to the woods. If you look over here, these are all wild strawberries. And this is my wild strawberry patch. And they are ripe right now, so I'll give you a quick look at what they look like. Here's what the wild strawberries look like. They're pretty tiny, but they're pretty delicious, so they're worth picking. And there's quite a few in here. 
Anyway, let me show you something that's right next to this. All right, let me show you something else that's growing in the strawberry patch. It's right over here, and I'll give you a closer look over there. Okay, I spotted these a mile away because they're lit up by the sunshine. And look what we have here. Mushrooms. I'm not sure what kind this is. Not sure if you can eat them, but it's kind of cool that they're growing in here like this. I'll have to look this one up. There's, there's quite a few in here. Look around. Another one. Well, as you can tell, I'm really happy with this product, the Bobex. And I'll put a link below the video where I bought it on Amazon. And it's way better than having a fence for me because I like the open area and don't like the look of fences. And, uh, is a good alternative to a fence so uh, also the, the uh, company has great customer service because I actually dropped this bottle it only fell about two feet and the top here cracked and started to spill all over my garage floor here's a little picture of that it was a uh, pretty smelly <laughs> anyway I wrote the company told them that their um, lids shatter pretty easy but it was my fault for dropping it and they offered me a free bottle and I didn't take it because I only lost a third of this and it was my fault. So, uh, yeah, it's a good company and a good product. So that's all I have for you this time. Until next time, take care, everybody.